of food in this show. I know there's some food, but I didn't see a whole lot of food. A lot of gifts. In this show. Yeah, more gifts. We've got sweaters, sweaters, though. Ooh, okay. Do you nice. need food? We're ready to party. There's Look a word that. for that. Look at that, baby. I That's like legit. that. Yeah. yeah. Right? Uh-huh. That's, yeah. That's not an ugly sweater. I don't, I don't think so either. I yeah. think they're festive. And, and it's kind of weird. I was like, Hi, I can't button. This is a women's sweater, actually, I'm wearing, but oh. it's still kind of okay. festive. Well, so. He carries it off. She's a little <laughs> short there, Mike, but that's okay. It is. I mean, I've, it's the cardigan. I feel like my three sons here. So anyway, hey, <laughs> famous <laughs> people. No, 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 no. Where? Ahead. I did that earlier today, Dave. Nobody knew what I was talking about when I was doing that. Uh, it was a great show. Ah, yeah. uh, yes. Anyway, famous people. Famous Who people. Who's the most famous that you have ever met? Oh, Wow. Well, I've got an unfair advantage because I was in sports for so many years uh, yeah. and you always run across some of these athletes and some of these, you know. Uh, I got dissed by Jack Nicholson one time. Oh, tried to get an oh, interview really? with him. So I sort of met him, but not really. Yeah. Uh, President George H. Bush, President Gerald Ford. I interviewed George H. Bush before he was even governor of Texas. Oh, wow. Uh, Bob Hope. Interviewed him when he was here in San Antonio. Hung out with him. He did a little song for us. Thanks for the memories about San Antonio. Wow. I'm Jack. I my, the well, Shaq's your buddy. Shaq's and, my buddy. And you've yeah. always said that Shaq is probably one of the nicest guys you've ever one met. One of the right? nicest guys you've ever met. He's the only athlete I ever met who could get in a city's head. You know how <laughs> athletes can get in another athlete's head? He could yep. get in San Antonio's head something fierce. But George Strait and then Emmett Smith. That's my list right there. How can we compete with that? I was going to say, how? All right, we'll take a minute. I'm saying about is David, officially. You got anybody, Justin? Well, I was about to say, David is now the most... Uh, you know, I met David Robinson here in the studio one time. Oh, okay. that was he's great. Cool. That's good. Yeah. yeah. How about you, Ursula? Um, I've met a lot of those people. I actually went horseback riding with George Strait once. Ah, oh, they good. But I think the, the 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 mega celebrity that I met was Oprah. I got to yeah. meet Oprah and interview her at her okay. studio in Chicago. Oh. But I've interviewed. Yeah. Everybody, Hillary Clinton, George yeah, we, Bush. We've uh, all done a lot of satellite interviews and yeah, everything. So well, no, in person. Good, so. These oh, were okay. in person. Okay. Yeah. No, but yeah. think about that. Now we're all one degree of separation away from all those Ex people. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> we just right. closed the gap. You feel we, better about knowing us now. Yeah. It, yes, indeed. <laughs> we, will, we will take it from here. Right. So who's your, whoops, I didn't mean to elbow you. Who's <laughs> your most famous? It's okay. The sweater protected me. Okay, good. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, Garth Brooks, Tom Cruise, um... Golly. Yeah. I, again, I worked and you know, did a lot of entertainment, so met met a lot. Of course, a couple of months ago, uh, Billy Gibbons from ZZ Top just walked into the studio. We had him on the show right. and Gene and then Simmons. We met Gene Simmons he was he on the show here. a year ago, and mm -hmm. uh, I was one time in Sun Studios with Carl Perkins, uh, Johnny Rivers, and Sam Phillips, who started Sun Studios in Memphis, and was like, "Oh my goodness, here I am." But I would have to say both Bush presidents before they were president: H.W. Uh -huh. Bush when he was running for vice president in '80, and George W. when he was governor. So. Wow. Yeah. Oh, All right. Great separation now. I know. <laughs> so let us know who's the most famous person you've ever met. And if you happen to have a picture, share it with us at SA Live Case Out on Facebook. And I and get to work with Twitter. a famous person every day. So. I know. Yeah, Leslie Mouton. No, no. Oh. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> Tis the season for holiday shopping, but he's no longer on my list. <laughs> <laughs> Lawrence M. Martin with Out of the Box Gifts and great gift ideas for your family and loved ones and hostess gifts and everything. And yeah, we're all cozy. Do you want a sweater, by the way? <laughs> no, I'm okay. You're, you're good. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you don't want to clash with us. So. All right. These are just things that you would never think of, but they're great. Yes. Yeah. I, so I think it's just fun because, you know, you always have those people on your list where you're either, what am I going to get them this year? I always can't think of something or somebody who thinks they have everything. And, and these are what I love, you know, because you can find something for anybody on your list at the Christmas Showcase. So there's a few examples here. Um, there are... We've got some, by another look, we have some foozy socks, which I think are hilarious. Like, I've literally seen people change their attitude because of a funny sock, you know? Oh, yeah. I love the, I love the pigs fly. <laughs> I know, so, pigs fly. And the little kitty cats. And the thing is, too, these are really soft. You know, I could, I could picture my wife just sporting mm -hmm. these, you know, running around the house oh, yeah. at night. So yeah. it would be perfect with the little penguins and everything and the cows. So. And then we have this. And what I love about all of these is that, it, you know, it is kind of out of the box. It is not the norm. So rather than bringing your hostess, you know, wine or something, they'll really, they'll remember you. <laughs> Absolutely. And I would much rather get some socks than another bottle of wine that isn't <laughs> <Right>. my favorite. <laughs> now, as far as bringing a hostess gift is with toothpaste, I don't know about that necessarily. Right. But this is really, whoops, didn't mean to take it. There we go. It is activated charcoal, coconut oil, 
faced. Rush like a boss. I've seen this online because you know it's like that dark charcoal. Oh, and it looks yeah. like their their mouth it's is all black. black toothpaste. Oh, is, you're gonna try it. It is oh, bizarre. Here we go. So this is it. <laughs> I just realized we don't is, have any chasers on the table. This is actually toothpaste, right? Spearmint, so though. Spearmint? <laughs> see, so it tastes fine. Do it, do it, do it on your teeth. See what <laughs> I want to see what happens. Oh now, my this gosh. is supposed to whiten, right? Yes, so it is supposed Get to... It <laughs> <laughs> That's great. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We did not. How's that taste? Spearmint. Yeah, I don't know if you're supposed to swallow toothpaste, but anyway, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> we did not think this through. <laughs> no, I didn't. All right. I love these. And it's charcoal, so it stains. They can be utilized around the house or if you have a you know a little bar or a bar area. Yeah, that's uh, I think that's really cool because you could put either some limes and lemons in there or um, maybe some pub mix, as we kind of talked about earlier. Uh, and they are made out of, got a crown bottle, I think, and a Pat Patron bottle. I don't know. Uh, I don't know why I know that, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> lucky guess. <right>? Yeah, <laughs> and then um, and these are creations by Heidi. She'll be at the show, um, and she hand makes all of these. Also, these wine and and liquor bottles that she turns into olive oil um, bottles as well. So. And I loved your idea is that you keep I know, but you don't want to get them mixed up. Is you keep uh, your like dish soap and yes. these on the kitchen counter so it you know just looks so it doesn't look yeah it's a little nicer. Yeah, mm -hmm. how are you doing? I'm, I'm doing well, but, I, you know, I was, what I'm laughing at is the fact that Ted over there on camera uh -huh. is just, he's almost dropping his camera laughing. But then I noticed that you have on a lovely yes, Christmas sweater, we Ted. Yes, festive all hey, the way John, around John, take here. a picture. He's got a button crooked, too. <laughs> Did you do that on <laughs> See, the entire essay is an holiday and John's got, John. And John's got it, too. And I love what it says. It says, I fish you a Merry <laughs> Christmas because Santa's at the North Pole fishing. That's great. So a lot of times, though, you look at these neat little things and go, where do I get them? This weekend, that's Perfect right. Place, right? Yep. Saturday and Sunday at the Freeman Coliseum Expo Hall. Um, Saturday it'll be nine to five, and Sunday ten to five, and you can get all of this and much, much more, including the, the sweaters. In, <laughs> including it, because you said there's going to be a woman there with more than two hundred yes, of these ugly techy sweaters. Ugly. <laughs> Did we talk about the guitar yet? No, we have not. Oh, that's a cigar box. Yes. So uh, these are cigar box guitars. They they play. They also plug in. Um, Go ahead. And Do they are the made by Tejas Cigar Box Company, and they'll be at the show as well. Can you do it? That's it. That's all I got. <laughs> so you, hubby can play guitar, you can't? No, okay. no, Just no, asking. no, no, no. Okay. And once again, we saw that uh, the information on the screen, but it's this weekend over there at the uh, Freeman Coliseum. Yep. And also, about how many different vendors? Oh, uh, 400. Oh, wow. Yeah, okay. it's a big, big show. So you can just knock out all your That's Christmas right. shopping and everything. That's right. just get it all one and done. Okay. For more information, go to salive.com and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. Thank you very much. Appreciate that. How's, do, I, do I smile or not? You might need something to rin, rin, rinse out, like okay. maybe uh, a cup of joe. Okay. Okay. Uh, it's a great coffee shop around town, and <laughs> David Elder is going to take us inside the new Rosellas because they have more than just coffee there, right? Oh, yeah. Check out some of these burgers. Hey, it's David Elder with SA Live. I'm here in downtown San Antonio off Houston Street at Rosella's Coffee House. This is their newest location at the Rand Building. So we're going to go inside, see what they got on the menu, because I heard they got some delicious new lunch items, dinner items, and we get to talk to our friend Charles Gonzalez from KSAT. Get ready to wine and dine at Rosella's newest location at the Rand. Charles Gonzalez has expanded the coffee house's menu at their new location, offering lunch and dinner food options, cocktails, and their locally famous lattes. At Jones, we've kind of got it become known for our breakfast and our lunches and, of course, our coffee. But here at Rand, we really wanted to make it take that a step further. My favorite item on their new menu is their signature item. The Rosella Burger. This is delicious. Ground chuck, short rib, and brisket meat combined to create a burger worthy of being put on a steakhouse menu. After it's grilled on the flat top, the meat patty is covered in Monterey Jack and smoked mozzarella cheese. The toasted bun has Calabrian aioli, red onions, and when the burger goes on it, it gets fried kale chips on top. I got like 10 of these things. And what's a burger without fries? The fries I love. The house-made fries are served up with a special ketchup that Gonzalez found while traveling around Atlanta. Rosella burger is, is something I really enjoy. 
The cocktails and beer selection give more depth to the coffee house brand, making it a destination that you'll want to visit at all times of the day. I feel like there's an excellence in everything I've tried so far. It's executed really well. So get ready, San Antonio. Your favorite coffee and pastry joint is now serving up one of the best burgers in town. I'd recommend coming out and trying it. Charles, thank you so much for having me out here. Cheers to you. Yeah, thank you. Thank you so much. And this is a, I mean, a great new location. You guys, got to come check out Roselle at the Ranch. It's gorgeous in here, and uh, I need another burger. Does that oh, me sound too. <laughs> Press A Live. Cheers. Yep, cheers. I'm David Elder. And, of course, we work with Charles, and congratulations to him for building that business. Yes! All right, they can reach lengths of up to 10 feet and weigh more than 300 pounds. I take you inside the exhibit of the largest lizard in the world. That's the Komodo dragon? Yes. I thought they, I thought they bite. Not Bubba. Really? Yeah. Uh, no, thank you. All right, and coming up, ooh, a nice good bowl of chili and some rice up in there and some sour cream. Oh, my goodness, that looks really good. We're going to be cooking chili coming up here after the break. the Komodo dragon exhibit here at the San Antonio Zoo and director of ectotherms Craig Pelkey joins me. Who do we have here? This is so cool. This is my Bubba. He's Your a Komodo Bubba. dragon. Yeah, he's my Bubba. <laughs> uh, what is Bubba's story? Bubba's story is he's he's one of our big animals here at the zoo. One of our top one of our top draws ranks right up there with the elephants and the tigers and so on. Uh, he is a mature male. Komodo dragon. He's about eight and a half feet, uh, between 140 to 150 pounds. He'll be uh, 24 on February 29th. Oh, okay. So, what does he eat? He eats anything made out of meat. Okay. <laughs> He's not okay. picky. What would they typically hunt? In the wild, it'd be deer, mm -hmm. pigs, um, some types of birds, uh, sometimes other dragons. They'll eat fish, and uh, what else? Sometimes even water buffalo. How how yeah. fast can they move though? Well, at this size, there's it's very explosive, but not for very long. Uh -huh. um, so where your camera guy is right now, he could explode and grab <laughs> them from this point. That's why I asked that. Uh, but that's about it. <laughs> Bubba, <laughs> don't go away. Creeping towards Ted as Ted starts to pack. <laughs> now we do have a female here named T. And uh -huh. she's in her prime, and uh, and she doesn't have bad knees like Bubba. Um, she's been seen sprinting across the exhibit catching rock squirrels. Really? Catches them and eats them. Wow. Okay. So how is their eyesight? It's excellent. Mm -hmm. It's excellent. Uh, when I was in front, uh, he was already eyeballing me. Is that his ears? That yeah, he's got slit? ears. Those okay. little slits there, they work just like ours. They just don't have lobes for earrings and things like that. And are there claws? Strong, sharp? They're very strong. Yeah. Everything about him mm -hmm. is strong, sharp. This is an incredible beast here. It literally is like a dinosaur. Uh, he's got all kinds of weapons, you know, like these claws here. His tail's a weapon. If he decides to do so, he could hit you and knock you in the next week with that tail. It's that strong. Wow. Probably the best thing about these guys is their, their jaws and their teeth. Their teeth are kind of like shark teeth, but with a curve to them. And they're very, very sharp. And in that curve, they're serrated like a steak knife. Whoa. And so what they do is, uh, this guy here, because he's not, he's not gonna be chasing things down like a cheetah, mm -hmm. what he's going to do is he's gonna sit there looking like a log in the forest. And I got to see this in Komodo, it was awesome. And the deer come by and they don't see him. And all of a sudden he just explodes out and grabs it and they give up kind of a, like a maiming bite. Um, in this case, what I saw, they removed the right quad of a deer. <laughs> and that immobilizes the animal. There, they start taking chunks out. So what he'll do is they'll grab on, and with all those little steak knives in their mouth, they'll start kind of moving their jaws like this, mm -hmm. and then all of a sudden, it's like a cookie cutter. And they rip that whole big chunk out, bone, flesh, you name it. We are, at San Antonio Zoo here, we're really big on Komodo dragons, the whole species survival program, mm -hmm. as well as their um, their field conservation. Uh, we, we are very active participants in all portions of Komodo dragon conservation in the field, in zoos. Um, we bred them here, uh, we educate here. 
Uh, I had the chance in 2015 to go there to help out with the field work. There's only one group in the world that does that work, and I got to go there and six days of running around Komodo Island with dragons. It was to help them out. It was it was great. So we're we're big advocates of uh, Komodo dragons. And with Bubba, how can you not? Coming up, how would you like to make a couple hundred bucks with old technology you may have lying around? We're going to tell you how you can get cash in hand right after the break and even save hundreds on Mac products. It is window time. Winter is here, and you're going to know if you need some new windows. At least that's according to Steve McNary, team leader at Southwest Exteriors. And you said that is the best thing this time of year. These are actually beautiful, beautiful windows. But it's like, okay, do I need new windows? Do I not need new windows? But you said with the colder weather, I mean, if you start you know, feeling a draft. Right. Yeah, so a lot of people think, oh, I got through the summer. Now we don't have to think about our windows. Maybe we'll do it next year. But the reality is as much heat as was coming in during the summertime mm -hmm. and you were tired of, you're losing that much heat during the wintertime out those same windows. They don't magically perform better just because the heat's inside and the cold is outside. So. And even though we think of temperatures as being the extreme on the hot side around here, you know, normal inside temperatures about low 70s and you get up into the 90s, 100, but it can be down in the 30s and 20s, so there's a much greater temperature yeah. difference and you will lose more heat that way, right? right? And, and everybody's got that room in the house where they always have to sit in the, under the blanket if they're gonna be working in their office or their kid's room is always colder. And a lot of times it's because the windows have gone bad in those rooms. So if I think I need new windows, I'm not, not gonna go, okay, bring me some windows here. You have people to come out. Yeah, so the best thing to do is, is once you call us, it's a probably two to four days. Within two to four days, we're gonna get a design consultant out to your home. We're gonna inspect your current windows because mm -hmm. one of the last things we want you to do is replace your windows if you don't really need to. So we're gonna bring lots of good technology out. We're gonna check out your current windows. If they need to be replaced, we'll be honest with you and tell you. If they don't, we'll be honest with you and tell you that too. Because there might just be, uh, okay, put a little bit of uh, some weather stripping along here or a little caulk around here yeah, and you can get another few years out of it. There's perhaps. lots of different stuff. Yep. But yeah, we'll be up front with people on that. And then if they do need to replace their windows, we'll sit down with them. We'll design all new windows for them, custom made for their home. We've got about 17 different color combinations they can pick from. We can change styles in the home. Uh, so we'll sit down and really design it around the homeowner and what they want. And then we'll even design uh, how they can pay for it and do some financing with them and all kinds of great stuff. And putting a window in is a lot more than just, you know, taking this one out and sticking this one in. Because you can have the best window in the world. And if you don't put it in properly, you're going to have basically a big hole in your wall, right? It, that's exactly right. So if these windows aren't installed right, if any window isn't installed right, it's not going to perform the way it's supposed to perform. So the big struggle comes in, who do I trust as a homeowner, mm -hmm. right? So we always encourage people, go online, read the reviews, vet us, vet all the other window companies that are out there, trust your neighbors. Remember the conversation used to be over the fence in the backyard, hey, right. who do you right. use for this? People are doing that online now on, with Google reviews and Nextdoor app and all that kind of stuff. So we just encourage people, go online, see who people are trusting um, and go with that. And this, there is no wood in this at all. This is complete vinyl, right? Correct. Okay, so it's never gonna rot, Correct. obviously. Um, all the, and the framing of the glass itself, it, itself is that the aluminum or is that vinyl too? Nope, nope, it's vinyl. So everything's vinyl the key glass. Is, okay. Yeah, the key is if you're gonna replace your windows, you only ever wanna do it once. Mm -hmm. And if you, if you don't go with the right company, if you don't go with the right product, you may end up doing it again, five, six, seven, eight, nine years down the road. Uh, and it's, nobody wants to do a home improvement over again. They wanna right. do it right the first time. So okay. do your homework. The other thing is, uh, this is a, a big investment. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, you're adding this to your home, but you will get this back if you sell it. There will be a time if you're going to stay in the home, you'll eventually recoup your costs with the energy savings. But if selling them, this is, I mean, good as gold, basically, yeah, best, right? It's one of the top return on investment that you can do with your home. New windows, new siding. Uh, adds value to the home right away, adds curb appeal right away if you ever go to try and sell that home. And in the meantime, while you're living in the home, it lowers your energy bill. And so they do end up paying for themselves. So this would be up there on the list. Well, we put in a new AC, we've got uh, new shingles, and we've got brand new windows. And Correct. that's just a, you know. Yeah, yeah realtors people. love it. Okay. Yep. All right. And if somebody wants to check it out and have somebody come out to the house and tell you if you indeed need new windows and go through all the design process and everything like that. Call 210-780-5700. And that is 780-5700 or visit southwestexteriors.com. Thank you very much, sir. Yes, sir. Appreciate that. All right, coming up. Need more spending money for your holiday shopping? Yes. How do you turn your old Apple products into cold, hard cash? We're going to let you know. And earlier we asked you... Who's the most famous? Ooh, Luke Bryan.
That's a pretty famous person, the most famous person you've ever met. I like that picture there, Stephanie. Thank you very much. Keep them coming. got my Christmas shopping done. I got David, Jen, Rossi's gift, Ted, John, Katie's son. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot mine. Oh no. Oh no. Do I have anything left? I spent all my money. What am I going to do? Oh. Hey there. Hi. Welcome to Experimac. How can we help you today? Okay, so I just finished all my holiday shopping and I forgot one very important person uh -oh. on my list and I just went through my entire budget. But I saw buy, sell, trade. Can I do that with Apple products here? Absolutely, you have come to the right place. So let me tell you a little bit about Experimac. At Experimac, we're a certified pre-owned Apple store and we'll buy your Apple products gently used. We sell certified pre-owned Apple products. We'll even let you trade up on Apple products. You can trade in your old device. And then we also repair Apple products. We also repair all, pretty much anything. Our gurus back there can repair anything. But let's talk about what you have. What, what are you looking for? Well, I tell you, well, the cash in my pocket m will really help. I'm, I have this. It's a MacBook Air. I've barely used it. It's just been wow. collecting dust over the years. I use my no, phone for it's everything. it's great. It's great. You know what? Mm -hmm. This is somebody's treasure right here. So let's go over and let me look around and see what I can do for you. See how much cash we can get you in your pocket. And then you can decide what you want to buy for your friend, Mike. Does that sound good? That sounds great. All right, okay. Good deal. Let's okay. go. Whoa. Wait, this this is how much I could get in my pocket? Absolutely. I today. can write you a check today. You'll have some money that you can spend on Mike and maybe a little bit extra you can mm -hmm. spend on somebody. Mm -hmm. So what were you thinking about looking um, to buy him today? Oh, well, I mean, I don't know. I don't know what he would like. I, let's well, let's let take a look around. Thanks. We've okay. got everything in here is certified pre-owned. Mm -hmm. Here's a thin panel. This is all that you need right here, a thin panel iMac. Um, great, great iMac in great condition. You know, it's less than $1,000. It's certified pre-owned. You know, it's got a one-year warranty with it. So this is something that you could put that money toward. Or if he's more of a laptop kind of guy, then we've got an Air here, very similar to yours, okay? Great price, $649 for this, you know, mint condition MacBook Air. Right here, we've got a MacBook Pro Retina, $849. Great pricing. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it just depends on what he's into. We've got Apple Watches, iPads. We've got unlocked phones. We've got a ton of accessories that he can purchase. Fiona, mm. I have got a solution for your quandary. Okay. I know exactly what you can get Mike for what? Christmas. You can get him an Experimac gift card. You can put that money on this gift card. Uh -huh. He can come in and purchase anything that he's looking for, whether it's a laptop, mm. an iMac, an Apple Watch, mm. or whether he gets protection for his Apple Watch that we have here. Yeah, because he he's rough something. with it during the, I'm the show. I'm telling you, you've got to have protection on that <laughs> Apple Watch. Or he can get something repaired, whether it's an um, Apple product, an HP, we repair all products. Kay, I am so glad that I found you guys here at Experimac because you make it so easy and this is such a great concept that just saves people money. Well, we are so glad that you stopped in today and that we could give you money back in your pocket and then give Mike a gift card that he can come in and buy something that hopefully, you know, is he what he's use. looking for and that he can use, absolutely, and it comes with a one-year warranty. So please tell your family and friends about Experimac and let them know that we offer financing and we also offer layaway for Christmas. Which is fantastic! Uh, yeah, yeah, for the holiday so season. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome. Thanks for stopping in today. Okay, we look forward to seeing y'all soon. I'm going to go spend some of that cash. Absolutely. If you'd like to come check out Experimac, they're located at 5910 Babcock Road, Suite 201, right next to the HEB. Their phone number is 462-7052. That's 462-7052. Or you can find them on Facebook at Experimac North San Antonio. I'm surprised when I get my gift. <laughs> it's just a gift card. All right, are you ready to go to Chili Town? We are. Ch Dave's Chili Town is here to show us a simple recipe you can make at home. That's coming up. Stay oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, you know, we. We yeah. love having good food on the show, and what better way to gear up for the lunch hour than with a big bowl of chili? Ooh, and everybody likes mm -hmm. it, I think, in one way, shape, or another. Again, we've got all sorts of little goodies here, and oh, the smells, and the man, the myth, the legend, Dave <laughs> De Prima from Dave's Chili Town is here, and I've never heard anybody say, I use a logarithm 
to then figure out my recipe for chili. But, but you, you like that. Wait, it's, it's a, impress me. Yes, that's it my, really is a science. That's my data. That's my data systems analyst mind. Mm -hmm. So a former claims adjuster. Which you said it took you a couple of years to get the exact perfect formula for all the, the wonderful chili. I developed this chili over two years, yeah. taking time, making tasting notes, adding all kinds of different things, taking things out. We're really working on consistency and the blend of spices. So nothing hits you all at once. You can't pick one thing out, but it's all blended together and it all comes together and it all works together to give you that great flavor. Okay. And that is from how, how long ago? I mean, you know, because you were saying that it's one of the or, kind of originals or the, uh, well, the history with the with well, chili? chili comes. Well, Chile's mm -hmm. born in San Antonio. Mm -hmm. Chile is noted back into the 1700s coming out of San Antonio and uh, it's developed through the uh -huh. ages in the 1800s mid 1800s late 1800s early 1900s we had the chili queens uh -huh. in military right. square yeah. they call it the served chili uh, that were there and chili just really uh, uh, San Antonio is uh, the birthright of chili and it's where okay. it comes from. Well, well let's, let's get, do it let's right get cooking right so yes. we have chili with a hamburger patty on it Yes, okay, so, gonna, so we have three dishes here. What okay. we're going to do is a riverboat rice. Put these on here. And yes, you're going to, because we're going to use a patty for that. Okay. And then we have a San Antonio Classic, a Frito pie, and then we're going right. to make a coyote puff. So for the riverboat rice, first we'll start with a bed of rice. Okay. okay. And, and, bed of rice and we'll use this bed of rice. Here we go. And you use jasmine rice here, you said? That is, yes. Okay. Long grain. Is that enough or more? Uh, put it, go ahead and load it up. Load okay. it up. Load it up. Yeah, I there you go. Like, that's a phrase you always want to hear when it comes there to cooking, eating chili. We're gonna yes. it up. Okay. It. okay, now on that, we're going to put a couple ladles of chili. All right, here we go. Now, this is a chili gravy. A lot of people right. know chili as a stew with big chunks of meat. Right. But this being a gravy is going to allow it to pour over and put onto so many different dishes. And that's going to sink mm. in nice with the clean Ooh, flavor of the rice. That. Look at that, baby. So then okay. on top right. of that, we'll put some uh -huh. cheddar cheese. Cheddar cheese. And by the way, this is Tex-Mex to the max. So... Text Max, you have your flour tortillas, which we're going to get to. We have our chili, More our cheese. spices. Okay. We have tongs here. We can put a, the right. hamburger patty on top. Patty. Thank you very much. Okay. And we'll put a little hamburger patty on top. There we go. There we go. All right. And you got protein, and you got rice starch, and you got the beautiful chili, and that's a great meal right there. I'm you on take, it. You take a bite. I'm going for the chili pie. Okay. Okay. Now we got pie. The frito pie. The frito pie. No. So, chili. Yes, yeah, so we're going to put. Oh, Fritos on first. Yes, we're mm. going to put two bags of Fritos in here. And you've got a, you've got a, a food truck, and where's yes. it usually parked? We're all over town. We do a lot of corporate okay. lunches, and we like to hit up the food parks. There's the Block, the Point, Park and Eats, mm -hmm. and in town, and then we go to several out, out of town also. Okay. Now, a couple of ladles of chili. Got it. A couple of ladles. Mm -hmm. And that's the beauty of the chili, of the gravy, that just it goes over so well. I tell you, Frito pie is just one of those things that's just... It, it's so good. It it's doesn't good. seem like it's really healthy for you, but it's so good. It's so. healthy for your soul. It, oh, I like, okay. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. I'm going to use that line. So. <laughs> okay. Good. Okay, so, and that's a classic. That's, that's a, that classic. a classic. Some people call it a walking taco, but mm -hmm. that's developed here in San Antonio as well. Mm hmm. And now the one that's really I've been eyeing is the, the hot dog in there. And yeah, this is going to be our coyote pup. Pup. Okay, this okay. is the smaller version of our larger coyote dog. So the coyote dog is going to have all of what we're going to put in there plus french fries. Okay. But today we're going to do that one. And we're going to go ahead and heat up a, we're going to get a tortilla. We want a tortilla, a tortilla nice or a warm. blanket. Good Lord, that thing's big. <laughs> you have to go to, you have right. to look for those 12 inch tortillas. So, and we would heat this up. Yes. And if you want, um, one of y'all okay. can, can make it. Mm -hmm. Put that in here just like this. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. Make a little well. Okay. Then we're going to add over here. We have our hot dogs. So this is a quarter pound premium hot dog. Okay. okay. And we have some tongs and we'll mm -hmm. grab one there of those. Put that in there. Okay. Pop the dog in there. Premium. We're going to add some chili. Add two scoops of chili. All right. Slide that baby over here. There we go. Oh, my yeah. goodness. I know. Then we're going to put some cheddar cheese on there. Cheddar cheese. Of course. Okay. Okay. Now we're going to add sour cream because it's got to be sour cream. Yes. There we go. Okay. I love sour cream on chili. Absolutely that is fantastic. delicious. Let it go. There you go. And Fritos right. on that. Now, the Fritos that we're going to do is we're going to crumble them if you want to just crunch them up. Okay. Okay. And Put then them. just sprinkle them? Yep. Sprinkle them on top. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, I like that. All right. A little bit of crunch. Okay. There we go. Okay. And if I can try and fold it up, or you guys can try and fold it up. Here, you want to you try and fold it? All right. It? I'll try and okay. fold it. Fold the ends in first, maybe? Tuck well, it Put in. it here. Tuck it in? Yeah. Uh -huh. Tuck. Oh, there we go. There we go. Like there that? Like this? Like this. Between the two of us. Uh -huh. think, you got it? You got it? You got it? I, so. I don't know. You, you did great. You did great for having go. it in the air. Oh, go my gosh. You're going to go for it? What? No, you're, you're, I'll, I'll, I'll okay. catch anything that falls. <laughs> there you go. You did it. Now, that's San Antonio right there. You have flour tortilla. You have your, your chili spices. You have your cheddar cheese. 
That's Tex-Mex to the max right there. All right. And you are the only chili yes. food truck in San Antonio. I think I'm the only chili house <laughs> in San Antonio. <laughs> Is it good? That's All right. Good. Awesome. Yeah. All right. For more information on Dave's Chili Town, just head to our website, salive.com, and click on the As Seen on SA Live tab. You got it? There we go. Tomorrow on SA Live, Thanksgiving table decor ideas on a budget. We're showing you a few ideas using corn husks. That's all tomorrow at 1. Stay with us. us at some point you know you turn on the water and you have to wait for the shower to kind of get warm but we, if you step in right away it's freezing cold no hot water it's definitely a frustrating situation you don't want to be in so joining me today is pat buyer from the buyer boys to help you understand what may be happening to your pipes and of course how to save money and save water while we're at this right, right. it's a win-win so you know what it's like to stand in the shower. Everybody does it. You walk up the shower, mm -hmm. you turn it on, you walk away usually, mm -hmm. and then come back after the water starts running hot. Or you're standing at the kitchen sink, you turn it on, you walk away, and wait till it comes back. So and we're it can be a, lots couple, of water. a couple of minutes, if not several. Now, I know you've done that before, right? Yeah. Or do you not want to admit that, right? No, I, I can admit that. Thank I usually you. will turn it on, and then I'll go pick out my outfit for the day. You know what I mean? While you're waiting for that to warm up. But exactly. meanwhile, there goes that water. It's continuing to run. So that's what we're trying to do is talk a little bit about what's the solution to doing mm -hmm. some of that stuff. And that's what we're going to hopefully talk about today a little bit. Okay. So we've talked about how much, we, we've talked about what happens. How much water are we wasting when, when usually, that goes on? Usually when you, when, if you circulate it right, if you're doing it like we're going to talk mm -hmm. about today, you can save up to 12,000 gallons of water a, day, a, a, a month just on saving by, by not turning it on, letting it run in the sink or letting it run in the shower all day. And just that alone is already going to save money with right. your water bill, with your sewage bill. Right. That's where you see the big savings on mm -hmm. what you're doing on that. But the big thing is, is it's, it, leave, it just takes away that stress in the morning. You're already tired or you're just out of bed and you want to get in the shower and you're just sitting there with your hand out hoping that Mr. Magic's going to happen with the hot water. Right. So you've got the solution right here. And right. I tell you, we do a lot of food on this show. Yes, we do. Okay. So tell me about the taco pump. Well, it's it, the, the brand is really a taco pump, but since we're in San Antonio, we're going to call it a taco pump. That is today. how I'm going to remember this. It just this makes bad. you feel better to do the taco pump today. But basically, what the taco pump does is it, it it's going to keep about an 80 degree temperature at your at your at your fixtures in the area that you have this set up at. So typically, what happens we install it at the farthest place away from the water heater. Okay. So if you have an upstairs, maybe you have the kitchen on the other side of the house from the water heater, we're going to install this, and it circulates the water and keeps that temperature at your sink there at about 80 degrees when you need it. Okay, and that's why, because we I look here, because you could look at the distance right. between right. your water heater and where that sink is upstairs in the corner of the house, and that's what can take so much time right. so, to warm up. So, so at night, you're, you're not using it. So what it does, it sits there. The, the water in the pipes themselves to get to your sink or get to whatever is cold. So you have to turn your faucet on, run it down the, the drain, and then you're ready to use your pipe. So what we do is we take that cold water that's in there, re-put it back in the cold water side, save the water, and then bring the hot water to the, to the device that you're, you're turning on. So what's new about this pump? Because this is pretty cool. Well, the, the, the unique thing about this pump is that you have, um, we have a timer on most of them now, a manual timer that comes on and off. So you can set them to come on and off, knowing your... But the latest and greatest is like, a, a new, like the new thermostats that are out. It'll actually learn your patterns of when you take a shower, when you turn the sinks on in the kitchen, when you do your dishwashers. The pump actually has a smart computer on it that will learn what your behaviors are and cir circulate the hot water to have it there when you need it. Oh, wow. So it, start, it just starts to know your habits, and then that way it's on between, you know, 8 and 10 a.m. or whatnot. It'll, right. it'll follow your patterns. All right, there's a number on the screen, and how much is this going to cost for viewers? You know, usually it runs about $825 to install it. it. That's if you have, and then you have to have some electrical underneath the sink. Uh, if we mount it at the, at the water heater and you have electrical, we can just uh, use the electrical at the water heater. All right. Call 656-9027. Start saving water and saving money. 656-9027. Call the Buyer Boys or head to buyerboys.com.
find somebody as famous? Uh, what do you think? What? I don't know. One that a lot of people know. Oh, the cake boss. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Ooh. It's Vivian six years ago when they met the cake boss. Po- cake boss, buddy B. Randy White from the oh oh yes, Randy White from the Cowboys. Got a signature and everything. Way to go, Nathan. Moses says, "I met Hollywood Hulk Hogan. Very nice. I met him years ago. He was at the station. Yes, the Jonas Brothers. Oh, in twice. nine and a year later. Look at that." Cool. Yeah. Interesting man in the world. Oh, my God. Why did they ever get rid of him in that ad campaign? He was great. You would be good as that. It's just the gray hair. That's all you're saying. Oh, (laughs) Governor Rick Perry. And got to meet Governor Dolph Prisco as well. Flora says, country singer Chris Young. Ooh, Uh, Rossi loves Chris Young. Yes. (laughs) And that Adam, oh, yes. One of America's (laughs) coolest meteorologists. Yes, indeed. I I I don't know. know. He's some guy. I don't know who that is. He's got thermometers, you know, so. (laughs) Mike Tyson, Iron Mike. That's from Carol. Oh, look. It's Ted Obringer. Yeah. I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> no, with bon, with John Bon Jovi. No, I mean, I didn't Ted, know who Ted Ted's is. Ted's always living on a prayer, isn't he? Yes, yeah, living on a prayer, yes. Indeed. Hey, right. coming up tomorrow, uh, Thanksgiving table, how to spruce it up. Some great little gift ideas. That nothing, you know, the food is one thing, but when the table is all decorated nice, that's so wonderful. Oh, yeah, these are some great ideas. Yeah. Plus, cheers to a good time. David Elder takes you inside a local brewery and tells you what makes them so unique. Famous people. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't know. Oh, Just okay. think about famous people. Oh, so. okay. A lot of people are famous people. I'm not. <laughs> you mean more so than usual? <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.